Oh, it's happening. So um, I, I don't think there's an if. It is happening. Um, in your own area and in Wellington and in the South Island, uh, there are significant discussions that are happening. Uh, I think that people can see that Auckland is getting itself fairly well powered up uh, with a common plan. Uh, that is helpful at the very least for focusing the argument. Uh, and uh, so, um, you know, local government is responding to that lead. Uh, I think they can see the benefits of agglomeration. Um, the, I noted the Herald um, was poking some borax at Auckland for sending 32 representatives down to the um, to the local government conference. Well, under the old structure, we would have sent 100. I'm sorry. Um, you know, so the, the the benefits of agglomeration, I think, are becoming self-evident. Uh, and um, we we are already doing it. We've set up the Upper North Island agreement around strategy. Uh, and policy decisions, we will have much greater joined upness between Bay of Plenty, Waikato, Northland and Auckland. 65% uh, of the nation's GDP, so that's really starting to bear some fruit. And the first discussion, of course, will be our ports. And we're having a decent informed dis discussion about that. Uh, and lastly, I think, um, I mean, basically, the, the gov it wasn't the government, it was the country that agreed Auckland had to stop arguing and pull together. And the focus there was that we're a small country, we need our only international city to get its act together. And by and large, that's happening. And now the country, small player, big world, some great branding that we need to leverage and we need to be united about it. So um, it's not if, it's actually happening and we and local government need to lead it rather than wait for it.